So we're going to try and apply the intermediate value theorem to this problem right here. Now we'll start by moving everything to the left-hand side so that we have something equal to zero. And that's, that expression here on the left-hand side, I'm going to let that equal to y. Now the problem asks us to look for a place where this is true on the interval 2 to 3. So let me set up my calculator, its window, at least on the x-axis, between 2 and 3. So window, 2, and 3. I'll let my calculator do the rest of the work for me by typing in zoom and then 0. So zoom and then 0. That gives me a graph that crosses the x-axis. And that's what we kind of expected to happen because the intermediate value theorem says that, okay, because it passes through the value 0 on the y-axis, we should be able to find a value for x where that happens. And so what we're looking for is the root there. To find the root, you hit the second key, then the calc key. That takes you to the calculate menu, and we want the 0, which is another way of saying that you want the root. Your calculator is going to ask you for a couple of bounds. It wants you to narrow down where to look. So just use the left arrow, go a little bit to the left of where the graph crosses the x-axis, and then again a little bit to the right. And then it's going to ask you to press enter one more time before it gives you your answer, 2.4909 on the x-axis. It gives you y equals 0. So if I round that off a little bit, uh, I'll call it 2.491. X is about 2.491. Notice the intermediate value theorem only says that this value is going to exist. You can kind of see that with the tables. If you were to make a table of this and typed in uh, the limits on our problem, 2 to 3, the problem goes, or the, the function goes from positive to negative. And what the intermediate value theorem says, okay, well, because it's changing sign, then at some point in between 2 and 3, you have to have a 0. And that's what we found, is that point between there that gives us a 0 for the function. And where the function is 0, then this is true as well. So that's the point guaranteed us by the intermediate value theorem. Are we okay with that little part on the calculator? Yes. Kind of like guessing for a while, or oh, uh, but see the difference is you'd have to put zero for the y value. Yeah, so I mean you could take some guesses and and make sure that you're close, like 2.49, and say okay that's pretty close. If you put the cursor on y, you can see there's times 10 to the negative fourth, that means there's three zeros in front of this. So you're getting pretty close, but you're not quite there yet. But yeah, unfortunately, you can't put in the zero there. Okay, that should do it. Uh, hopefully this little video helps.